beautiful day today. Spring is definitely here. Just had a little wander in. I've been doing some other things as well, and uh, these two oak trees, I think, I've got to camp between tonight. Got uh, something a bit new, a bit different, a bit weird, <laughs> which is why uh, when one tigress asked me, I said yes, because it's just out of this world weird. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll show you that in a moment, and we'll uh, get that set up. So this is it, it's the uh, One Tigress Hammock Hot Tent. I've also got the hammock and under blanket with me as well today. Um, got a stove with me as well. The reason I wanted to do this now is because I don't think there's going to be opportunities for hot tenting soon. So, yeah, let's give this a whirl. It's quite um, big, like if you're used to just using a tarp. But uh, yeah, about one man tent size. Well, I didn't look at any videos of how this is normally set up. I thought it'd be pretty straightforward. It's got these straps on the end, which um, I originally was going to put on my hammock straps, but uh, that wasn't going to work because the whole thing would have dipped down. So what I've just done is put a ridge all the way through it because it does have loops and uh, done a prussic knot just to uh, tighten it up. I think that's going to work a treat. Um, bungees would probably be good with this. Going to be honest, that took a little bit of time. <laughs> I've actually been guiding these out to trees as opposed to down to the ground. So that's probably why they're so long, so you can go as far out as possible. But uh, going to the trees, because I've got them here, has uh, been better. But yeah, we've got our little house. I'll show you around it in a second. We've got the door on the end. So I'll take you around the outside here, just so you can get a little idea of it. Avoiding all the trees and guy ropes. It's a good size. There's plenty of room in here. Just got to get a hammock up now. There's a double zip at the top here. I can thread the uh, strap through. And that moves as you need it. And I can just hook on the hammock. Okay, that looks uh, pretty good now. I've tensioned up the ridge on the hammock. You can peg these out to spread them, but uh, I'm not going to do that in here, I don't think. Plus, I've got the under quilt to go under there as well. But uh, it's pretty roomy in here. I mean, I probably could have had an extra couple of inches, but you can stand up in the middle, certainly sit down in here and whatnot. Could use it just as a tent as well. But yeah, I'll put on my under quilt and then set up the stove. Just got the one tigress unused so far under quilt as well. Compresses down quite well. So almost an entirely one tigress setup. This is the uh, sleeping bag I took to Sweden. So 
I know it does quite well even though it's not a winter one. There we go. So I've got a pomoli stove with me today because it's one that I've not used. And if you look at the top there you can see it's a bit of a gift. They've uh, etched my name on it. So this one's a bit smaller than the usual ones. Folds out but uh, you've got the sides that slot in. I've got uh, two normal sides and two glass sides as well. bit of comfort with me today in the form of my chair Right, pretty much set up now. Just need to get some wood for the stove together in a bit. But uh, yeah, it took a little bit to get going. And I guide it to the trees, like I said, rather than to the ground mostly, which uh, seems to have helped pull it out. But uh, it wouldn't take so long if you knew what you were doing and you had all your guys attached already and everything, I'm sure. But it's gonna be an unusual experience uh, being in a hammock in a tent. I've come back to something I downed a while ago, so I'm just going to cut it to half the length of this, which is about the size of that stove. I'll try and use this fork to uh, lift it off the ground. Just need to. Uh, a stump, there's one around here somewhere so I can chop this up.
plenty of perfect dead wood hung up here for kindling. Well, I'm pretty much sorted now. All the shelters up, the hammocks up, the uh, sleeping bags in there. I've got me wood for the stove. I've even collected a bit of firewood. I might just sit out here at dusk and uh, just enjoy a bit of a fire, but then go in there and cook dinner and that. But yeah, whew, I think it's going to be quite cosy in there. One thing I did want to mention about this was, because um, I'm sure a lot of you will, Lone Wolf 902, you've probably seen his channel, does a, a lot of hot tenting, had a hand in the sort of design and execution of this. Um, parted ways with one tigress now, but I just thought it worth mentioning. So check out his channel if you want more information on that. But uh, yeah, definitely a, an interesting concept. Uh, I'm not a massive hammocker, so it's not something I'm going to be using all the time. But you know, it's another string to the bow. Definitely good for colder weather. Got a couple of bits of fat wood with me, so I'm just going to get some shavings just to get this going. It's been a little while since I last filmed and as you can see it's got rather dark, the fire's going nicely, just chilling out here with a uh, Mythos Greek beer. Um, I did notice because I had the head torch on, I don't know if it'll show up here, I've got some rather reflective cordage on this uh, setup. <laughs> but it, yeah, looks like a spider web. So I'm just going to let this burn down then I'm going to do a little food back in the tent on the stove. Right, it's time to get the stove going, so I'm just going to use some Tinder card that I have with me. Just going to fluff that up with a knife.
Stick some of that kindling in. That fire's getting underway now, so just gonna prep a little bit of vegetable to go with it. And uh, I've got some wild boar steaks with me. So that should do the onion. Roughly, and that should do. I'm going to start off with a little oil. And I'm going to start on the veg first. And we'll just get that going. Just let that pan heat up a little bit. Right, it's starting to sizzle now so I'm gonna stick in my wild boar. It's one piece. And another there. And I've got some mixed spices as well just to put on there. A little extra flavour. She's getting there. This is the uh, Trangia, I think 27 centimetre pan by the way. First time using it because uh, my old one just has just had it. My old lightweight one. So I thought I'd uh, try something new. It's got that uh, folding handle. These are smelling great though. Well, I think we're about there. So let that rest a minute and uh, take off the veg as well. Apparently, I was eating this and didn't hit record, but as you can see, that's beautiful and juicy. Mm. Nice bit of spice on there as well. I don't know if I'd be able to tell the difference between wild boar and pork, but it's beautiful all the same. It's really warming up in here as well. I think it's going to be a cosy night. Eaten, I've rested, it's time to get a boil on. And have a nice hot drink before bed. The stove's still going, and I've had a couple of hot drinks, chilled out a bit, and uh, now it's warm in here. I think it's time for me to uh, crash out, so I'm going to shut the door off and uh, get some sleep.
Good morning. It's overslept quite a bit. <laughs> getting on for 10 o'clock now, I think, so uh, I need to get some breakfast going straight away. It's a bit too warm for using the stove, so I'm just going to put a stove on top of it, a little spirit burner, and cook on that. But the uh, sun's starting to come out, looking quite nice. There's the trancher. Give it some juice. Some bioethanol in here. I think we're lit. Yeah. Pound. We hear a uh, incoming helicopter. A few squirts of oil. A few bits of chorizo. Throw a few mushrooms in there too. Right, time to go in with those eggs. Just two eggs and a little bit of milk here. Smells lovely. Hmm. Woodpecker's off. Slept pretty well in the end, inside there, in the hammock, in the tent. <laughs> yeah, uh, I brought a smaller sleeping bag and I've been using through the winter and got through all right. A little bit of a chill when I got in, but warmed up. So here's my clean area, the dry patch, uh, leaving it as I found it, of course. It was a, definitely an interesting thing, the hammock tent. Um, probably not for me, because I'm not much of a hammocker, but I can see, you know, people in colder climates, you know, keeping that wind off of them sides is definitely going to be nice, as well as having the stove with you. 
So if you're somewhere like Canada, Sweden or something, you've got a little sledge so you can carry a little extra weight. It's probably quite a good thing. Um, but yeah, it worked out well. Quite a lot to um, put up and take down. A uh, hammock, I do like the hammock though. I'll definitely be using that again for sure at some point. But uh, time to go now. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.